creating substructures. Substructures are collections of elements that have been grouped together. So the internal degrees of freedom have been eliminated for the analysis. Using a substructure makes model definition easier and analysis faster when you analyze a model that contains identical pieces that appear multiple times. In this example, we model a tank which are supported by four identical legs. We model the legs as substructures. There are two steps in substructure analysis. Step 1, creating substructures in your model database. Step 2, including substructures in your analysis. For creating substructures, just start making the substructure part. Create and assign material property to substructure. Generate substructure step. Assign substructure number and request substructure matrix result for whole model. Mesh the substructure part. Create a set of nodes which present is retained off. Substructures are connected to the rest of the model by the retained degrees of freedom at the retained nodes. The retained degrees of freedom for a substructure node are the degrees of freedom that are external and are available for use in the analysis. All other degrees of freedom for the specified node are assumed to be internal to the substructure and do not factor into the analysis. Two groups of nodes and two end of the leg support are supposed to participate in analysis. So these nodes shall be defined as retained nodal dolphin analysis. Assign the set of nodes we already defined. Retained nodal DOF are highlighted in both ends. Create the job and submit it for analyzes. The substructure is created and is ready to use in analysis. Create new model to model the global model. Modeling the tank in new model. Assign material property. Importing the substructure. The file name is substructure job name with sim extension. Retained nodal DOFs display as light blue crosses. It imported in assembly module like other parts. It could be translated and rotated like other parts. Assemble the whole model. Define a static step.
if results of substructure is interested, some extra step should be done in field output request menu. Tie constraint should be applied between substructures and tank. Create constraint at base. Apply pressure to the side of the tank. Create mesh on the tank. Enter general as the name for your analysis job. Submit the job. In output file general.odb you can see the result of only non-structure parts of model. So in order to see the whole model result, all odb files for each substructure part instance used in the analysis should be combined. All four substructure odb files should be opened and overlay plot and combined. 